Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today, your GPU puts you at risk, new world record, AMD's 50 series of desktop GPUs get a release date, RX 7000 officially launches when, and AMD claims GPU supply will finally meet demand. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, a new world record was recently set by the overclocker OGS from Greece. As you can see, he was able to break the Firestrike record with a score of 63,361, as well as broken records in Firestrike Extreme and Firestrike Ultra. He was able to achieve this with a 6900 XT overclocked to a whopping 3.3 GHz using liquid nitrogen. What's wild is that this was shortly after the record was first taken by a 6900 XT at 3.1 GHz from Korean overclocker Biso Biso. But before that, the record had been held for nearly two years with four 1080 Ti's, meaning a single overclock 6900 XT was able to beat four 1080 Ti's in SLI. Really, I think that shows just how far GPUs have come in just a few years. Now, if only we could actually buy those new cards, things would be better. Though I do have some good, good news, news on everyone. that in a few. And of course, while talking about PC hardware is great, earning money from it is even better. And the best way to learn computer science is with this video's sponsor. Brilliant. See, you can only learn so much by reading or watching something. And that's why Brilliant takes things to the next level, by having you actually do it. They help you gain a deeper understanding of computer science, math, and other STEM fields. And they do it by taking you through the subject piece by piece with fun, interactive content. Plus, they're constantly expanding their catalog of courses. So whether you're a beginner, expert, or somewhere in between, there's an interactive lesson for you. So get started for free by visiting Brilliant.org slash or click the link in the description. And the first 200 users who visit the link get 20% off the annual premium today. Next up for today, a team of researchers have just discovered a new way to accurately identify users online, and that's by using your GPU. I am I'm freaking out! That's right, the new technique is called GPU fingerprinting, and it basically looks at the slight variances in GPUs to track you. Essentially, due to natural differences between GPUs from power, performance, etc., no two GPUs are completely alike, so it can be used to identify you similar to a fingerprint. In the paper, researchers took over 176 measurements from 16 data collection points by running certain vertex operations so the GPU wouldn't use random work units, meaning they could repeat the results again and again. They can then take that data to track you online. Apparently, when using WebGL 2.0, they can get a fingerprint with 98% accuracy in just 150 milliseconds, and it's 67% faster than the best fingerprint methods used today. Luckily, this was found by a research group because they're already working on ways to mitigate it. Let's just hope it doesn't take long. Next up, if you've been following the channel, you know that we've been hearing rumors about AMD releasing a full new series of desktop GPUs, specifically a refreshed RX 6050 series similar to what they did with their mobile parts. Well, today we have a new tweet from known leaker Graymon55, where he states that the series is expected to launch in June to July, and this is shortly after the leaker from the Chopel forums claimed that they would come in Q2. Of course, June to July is more towards Q3, but he even confirmed it later to in fact be Q3. And as we get closer to release, the dates will start getting more accurate so it makes sense that it can change. Either way, it certainly seems like the cards aren't too far off. With that said, you likely noticed one more thing in that tweet from Graymon55. He also states that a new GPU is releasing in May, specifically the 6500 non-XT model. According to the leak, it has specs similar to AMD's OEM-only RX 6400, and that would mean that it comes with 768 cores and 4 gigabytes of GDDR6 across the 64-bit bus. Of course, the 6500 XT was a pretty terrible card, but given it should be quite a bit cheaper at $130, maybe it'll be worth it? Probably not, but we shall see. And that's not all on AMD, as I actually have two huge official reveals from AMD rolled into one. The story comes from AMD's fourth quarter earnings call, where the CEO, Dr. Lisa Su, gave us some great news. 
During the report, she stated, quote, We look forward to another year of significant growth and share gains as we ramp our current products and launch our next wave of Zen 4 CPUs and RDNA 3 GPUs. Now, AMD already announced that their Zen 4 based CPUs were coming in the second half of this year back at CES, but we haven't really heard much about their next gen GPUs until now. Of course, it'll likely come late in the year given the rumors of a 50 series of 6,000 cards. But either way, AMD confirmed that they are in fact coming this year, and leaker Graymon55 recently tweeted that it's set to come in Q4. Remember that these should be their RX 7000 series of cards given they keep the naming scheme. Either way, this is definitely exciting, and the news doesn't stop there. She later stated, quote, So in regards to your question on 2022 supply environment, we've made significant investments in wafer capacity as well as substrate capacity and back-end capacity. We feel very good about our progress in the supply chain to meet the 2022 guidance, and our goal is frankly to have enough supply to satisfy the demand out there. Now, it's that last part that's really important. AMD actually plans to, quote, satisfy the demand out there, meaning they aren't just talking about getting more supply or anything like that. We're talking to truly meet the demand. And we heard something similar from NVIDIA's CFO recently, though not in such strong words. Basically, we can finally expect GPU prices to get back to normal sometime this year, given some other catastrophe doesn't happen to disrupt the supply chain. Fingers crossed. So while that does it for today, are you excited for AMD's Ryzen 7000 GPUs? Or are you just excited that supply could finally meet demand? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.